This is the Audi Q6 e-tron performance. Audis are generally very precise. You know exactly what you're getting and you know exactly what the car will do. And this is very much the same here. This is a rear wheel drive car. Newer things for this car are, they're now using a single motor here, uh, which is meant to make things a bit more efficient, to drop weight and increase range. So this is actually a car that is meant to give you range and efficiency as opposed to overly boosted power. Uh, it does have a lot of power, it is electric, so the power comes on smoothly, but it is really meant to give you range. Um, and it does that very well. And it does that while giving you the rear wheel drive experience. So it is kind of fun to drive around quickly on corners, but it's really meant to be a good everyday, relatively spacious SUV for this size. Okay, one of the things we're seeing with the new Audis is their new design of their logo, which is kind of two-dimensional. They're changing the color. In this case, it looks like that, so it's much more subtle. Then you've got matrix lighting systems, which you can mess around with and change as needed. But what we have is the Audi Q6, and what I like about it is that we think it's a SUV, but it's kind of got the vibe of what we really like about Audi, which is sport wagons. And you've got a nice kind of power bulge here. When you get to here, you've got a curve that goes out that way, but this is coming down. And then you kind of got that. And then you've got this look. This kind of just reminds me of old Audi Quattros, especially from the back. If you remember the old Audi Quattros that were race cars, and you'd get this kind of a bulge here, it would be much more strong and stiff with those old cars, and then you'd have that coming towards the back. But the end result of all of it is that it just looks fast. If that was where I was sitting, this is how much space I would have in the back. Okay, so I could do this. Uh, that's what I'm surprised about with this car. There was more space than I expected. So what I've done right now is nothing. I didn't unlock the car. I walked up to the car and it turned itself on. Can we start the car without turning it on or off? And the answer is, yes, we can. Okay, so why do you need this? Well, sometimes you just want it. For example, when I'm sitting in the car and I want to turn off the air con, like I did last night when I wanted to work here, but it was too cold, that was fine. I thought I turn it on. So what we have here is this is the digital stage. Here we're going to go to heads up display up there and then you, what you see is there. Now this is the fun stuff. You can add the different things you want to see. Right now everything is on so we see everything. Activate demo mode. Let's see what happens with demo mode. There. Okay that's demo mode. So this is what it would look like um, if you were uh, driving. Okay this is the fun part. This is where we find the games. You can go, you can move up and down using the up, down, left. Ah. Crash, sorry. What other things do we see? If you want to do things like drive select, we go there. Then if you have choices. There's balanced, dynamic, comfort and efficiency. Efficiency, if you go to efficiency plus, it will skew even higher. In this case, it turned the air conditioning to low charging how you want to charge, what your targets are, and so on. Automatic operation regulates braking on the basis of the road ahead. Depending on equipment, you may be able to temporarily correct the braking effect by selecting manually via this. I'm lowering and raising it based on left and right plus and minus paddles. So you can really kind of decide the level of help you want for stuff.
Look, look at how it turns there. Look. Okay, off we go. Okay, so with the Audi Q6, what we're seeing is what we expect from Audi, plus a little bit more. There's predictability in how it handles. Uh, I, I know how Audis handle, I know exactly how this will handle if you have to slam on the brakes, if you have to do sudden left and right turns, I know what it will do. Uh, but what it's adding to it is uh, the level of technology that more and more of the younger Audi buyers are expecting. So they're kind of answering the desires of Audi buyers already and those that are wanting to come in. So they give them a level of technology they're comfortable with, wrapped in the very, very nice seats. Uh, they're not plush, they're not overstuffed, very straight on, very, very on brand. We're using the cruise control and we're in traffic. And so let's see, and I set it too low, so now it's slowing down because there's a motorcycle in front of us. Uh, so let's go close to him and see what it's. See, look, do you see that? It identifies the motorcycle. So it identifies what's in front of you and it's tracking it. And now it's got oh, that thing. Oh, did you see that? It slowed down. So what's happening there is that I would use this as a safety feature. Uh, I would drive and I'd have it on in case something happened, it would be there to save me. <laughs> I'm not on the pedal. So uh, it's going up to our speed, then it's gonna slow down. In the heads-up display, I'm getting kind of a gauge as to where things are. So like when the motorcycle came by, there was a green light, underlying light that followed the motorcycle. Now it looks like it's sensing something off to the right, which is the car. If I go here, it now tells me it's right in front of me. So now as I move back and forth, if you can see it, um, it's telling me what's in front of me and where. The truck in front of us is lit up. Uh, then as we get closer, We'll find out if we stop. We're stopping. I hope we're stopping. We're stopping. Yes, we're stopping. Okay. Okay, so there. Now, we're, now we've come to a complete stop. When this starts moving forward, will we go forward? Yes. I'm not on the pedals at all, so it's moving forward regardless. Now, if I hit the brakes now, will it disengage? Yes, it disengages. Once I've disengaged the system, uh, I have to turn it back on. There. Now, there. Okay, different thing. If I, was, I went on the accelerator, and then I get off it, it will re-engage. So accelerating will bring you up past your speed and then drop it down. Hitting the brakes will disengage it. This is actually kind of fun. And now look at all, we were seeing all the traffic go. You can adjust what you want to see. So that's good. This is pretty sophisticated, I gotta say. So we just had fun in traffic with the new Audi Q6. Audi is still a technology forward thinking company, but it still has its roots in the past. It gives you what you would expect in terms of dynamic handling, in terms of predictability of handling, in terms of uh, cleanliness of design, but it adds to that uh, the level of technology and that level of technology is not just because of the electrics. What it's giving you also is how you integrate that technology into your life. Technological purposefulness, that's what Audi is. That's what it's giving us. Uh, everything has a reason, everything has a purpose and helping us understand how the car works. This is giving us all we want with Audi, but a little bit more in terms of taking the technology and integrating it into our daily drive. And that more than anything else is what we want Audi for.